that the emergency brake is not on as it has happened to me. There we go. Now as you can see removing the pads is very easy just push them out and they just come out. When you buy a new kit you're going to get these uh, clips so you need to remove the old ones from the caliper. Which as you can see they're right here you just have to press them out and they'll come out real easy. So this one is out and now the other one. comparison of the old pads this one versus the new one so we need to back up uh, the piston in the caliper to accommodate all this extra material Then the T40, we turn this clockwise. Till the last thread, it's gonna be hard. Now we reverse the, the whole process. When we change the rotor, you're gonna put back the caliper support. You can see the screw right on the inside. So these bolts came already with the Loctite and the uh, torque is uh, 100 newton meters. So we put the clips that hold the uh, pads.
now we install the uh, brake pads. Very simple. together again. This is the uh, parking brake. So we go a little bit. comes already with the Loctite. This is uh, you need a 15 and a 13. That's it, right? So this is how it looks without the pads. So now I'm going to push back these pistons. Bear in mind that the brake cable is very short. So it's very easy to just uh, snap it or damage it. So I'm going to try to get a, a rope or something just to get the caliper tight so it doesn't fall down. Next, I'm going to remove the uh, this bolt, which is a T50, to remove the uh, rotor. <coughs> and now the brake.
because I need a lot just to get it whole nice enough. So the next step is to compress the pistons in the caliper. Um, the problem is that because I already done this job on the rear brakes, the level in the reservoir, brake level, just came up almost to the top. So I'm going to remove a little bit more because as I'm pressing the, the caliper pistons, this oil is going to start coming up and I don't want to make a mess. So I'm just going to use the shrinks that I used to bleed the mountain bike brakes. This is 150 millimeters, five inches C clamp. So I'm gonna be pressing so the piston is moving, is moving backwards. This caliper has two pistons. So I'm gonna be doing the other one right now. Oh, going in. 